what's up youtube welcome to another build welcome to another video as you can see i am on my 03 tahoe this is a part two for the turbo build uh the main objective of today is to drop the oil pan and i had got the headers in i'm gonna drop a clip inside and man they fit really well against this head uh the crossover pipe we're gonna have to figure that out um see how they uh, hook up but other than that um i'm really excited about this uh but before we get in the video make sure to subscribe join my family help me build this truck and uh stay tuned for more i appreciate y'all let's go so guys first thing first what i'm gonna do i like having space so i'm gonna end up taking this off um i know when i get ready to drop the oil pan which you will see in a bit I will explain when I get to that area. Let's go. So guys, as you can see, we got plenty of room right here. This crossover bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to have to loosen these 18 millimeter nuts on this side and uh, the bolt on the other side. And uh, we got four in total uh four nuts and then four bolts i'm gonna probably have a jack just in case so i can just ease it down so let's find some sockets <laughs> so guys we got our jack right underneath not perfect but at least we got something supported uh temporarily uh this is a two-wheel drive tahoe easier compared to the four-wheel drive setup it's a lot more you have to do moving the shaft and uh i believe dropping the front diff just the hair or just the act who's i'm not sure uh but yeah i've been looking for a four-wheel drive truck but can never just come across them just never can so it's my two-wheel drive but anyway we're gonna make fun one let's go <coughs> so guys Got an 18 millimeter socket on this side and an open end uh, wrench on that side, 18 millimeter. So, boom, guys, we got the cross beam out the way. Now we need to get. I think I need to take this off. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to take this off. I believe we got a, I don't know if that's a 10 or whatever, but we got one, two, three, four. I wonder if we got to move these. Damn. I'm going to have to move some of this um, wiring, wiring and stuff, the harness and all that. So. Let me see. What we doing is just removing the bolts and dropping this pan. That's all we doing. And uh, this is that old block off plate I was talking about. This is uh, going to be our oil feed. And then I'm thinking about uh, either, I don't know, tapping up front or the side of this drain pan for the drain line. We need the highest point as possible. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So guys, for quick tip, um, if you already know, you know, but for the people who don't, um, with this har this harness that's on your oil pan, what you want to do is slide this to the left. You got like a little pin that slide in there, slide it that way. And then you're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt right there attached. Just take that off and you loose right here. Uh, the only thing I need to get off is this uh, oil sensor over here, and we need to get all these 10 millimeter bolts off. So, like I said, it's not hard. Uh, self explanatory. <clears throat> By the way, use a curved pick, get in there and pry it out, just like that. And boom. So 
guys, it's about 11 p.m. Um, I'm not going to lie, this oil pan was tearing me up, but I finally got it. Uh, I was just trying to pry around, especially up front. Um, I used a flat behind screwdriver. But as you can see, the pan finna drop, but we're going to get a closer look um, at the pan in a bit. So let's go. So guys, we finally got it off. I know for a fact this old pickup tube, I'm going to replace the O-ring. And I'm going to just clean this bottom side up. I'm going to take this tray out probably tomorrow just to get um, another look um, at this thing here. And I'm going to clean this whole pickup too. I don't know. That's that's kind of metallic. Metallic. Anyway. Everything looked normal to me, but that was a pain in the ass getting that gasket off. I'm not going to lie. Uh, anyway, this inside here don't look too bad, to be honest. It don't look too bad. We're gonna clean all of this up. Anyway, I hope you have a good night. Um, stay for part three. Um, <clears throat> I'm just tearing everything apart so I can have room and all that. Um, with this oil pan, we need a um drill and tap this out and i need to get like a, a longer hose just to attach to the other end and we need to do our uh drain fitting and i don't know where i want to put that at i thought about up front but i'm not sure it's gonna be might put it on the side but yeah that's it guys y'all have a good night see y'all man